Today I'm gonna to talk about why our business switched from Basecamp to ClickUp and what I love and hate about each of those apps. Hi, I'm Ryan Hayden. I'm one of the founders of Build Online. We plan, design, and build custom software and custom apps for businesses and entrepreneurs. And I'm on a mission to help business people understand the world of software development. I make these videos every week. I am a huge Basecamp fanboy. I read Rework, a book by the Basecamp founders when it first came out in 2010. And since then, I've been reading everything that those guys have put out. I gladly pay for Hey.com, Basecamp's email service, and I recommend it to others. I think I've paid for just about everything that they've sold at some point over the last 12 years. So when it came to looking for a project management tool for our company, Basecamp was the natural choice. And for a while, we loved Basecamp. It's so simple, it's so easy to use. We never had to explain it to a client, it just worked. But as our company grew and we added more and more employees and started taking on bigger and bigger projects, we started to realize that Basecamp was no longer working for us. And reluctantly, we made the switch to ClickUp about a year ago and have used it ever since. So I've used both of these apps in the real world and I've used both of these apps as the foundation of our company. And I wanna give you a quick real world review of these apps. Now, both of these apps essentially do the same thing. They facilitate project management. They both have task lists, they both have calendars, they both allow you to assign tasks to team members and see when it's done. But that's pretty much where the similarities stop. They are very different apps and they shine and fall short in very different ways. So let's talk about that. And let's start with Basecamp. First, let me talk about where Basecamp shines. There are four things I love about Basecamp. First, the biggest thing Basecamp has going for it is how simple it is. I have never had to explain how Basecamp works to anyone. If you have used the internet at all in like the last 20 years, then you can figure out Basecamp. A second thing that Basecamp has going for it is its price. Basecamp costs $99 a month, whether you have one user or 500 users. If you're just getting started, that might seem like a lot of money, but we pay more than twice that with the per user per month setup that ClickUp has. That adds up fast. Third, maybe the thing that Basecamp does best is the way that it encourages an asynchronous text-based culture around work. The idea behind Basecamp is that you can run your whole business with almost no meetings by writing everything in Basecamp and that that writing should be consumable on your own schedule. Now, I love that idea in theory and I've seen it work for other companies. It just doesn't work for the kind of things that we do and the people that we have on our team. We just don't have a writing culture. Fourth, another place that Basecamp was great was the way that it handled docs. ClickUp does docs too, but I just find ClickUp's docs to be clunky, and we ended up moving everything to Google Drive or Dropbox Paper. The docs feature of Basecamp was great. It, it was at least adequate, and we used it. Now, there are other things I like about Basecamp too, the way it segregated client and team accounts, the chat feature, the way it handled files, all of it worked pretty well. So let's talk about where Basecamp falls short. I mean, obviously we switched for a reason and there are four things that we wish Basecamp did better. First, time tracking and estimating. We bill hourly for our work and we wanted something with built-in time tracking and estimating. Basecamp doesn't have this feature and they've said they're never gonna add this feature. And the third party add-ons, they just didn't meet our needs. Second was Scrum and Kanban views. We organize our work in two week sprints and we use a custom Kanban style poll system and there just was no easy way to do that in Basecamp. So we ended up making a project for each sprint and moving over tasks and then using a third party tool to create a Kanban board and the whole thing, it just became a headache. Third is reporting. We needed a way to get data for all kinds of things, like how long tasks were taking and how many tasks were going over estimate and which developer or designer was hitting their goals and how much work was costing us. And Basecamp just doesn't do that. So we found ourselves manually maintaining a bunch of spreadsheets. And again, it just became a huge headache. Now, the last thing we didn't like about Basecamp, 
totally subjective was the design. Now, I personally love the design of Basecamp, but a lot of our team thought it was ugly and some people didn't even want our clients to see it. They thought it was so ugly. So I love Basecamp, I still love it. There are a lot of companies that could use Basecamp and be very happy with it. We just outgrew it. So let me tell you about ClickUp. ClickUp is the project management tool that we currently use. And it's not 100% either. So let's talk about where it shines and where it falls short. I'll start with where ClickUp shines. And there are four things I love about ClickUp. The first is the customizable views. There are a million ways to view everything in ClickUp. Kanban boards, calendars, Gantt charts, a simple list, you name it, and they probably have a view for it in ClickUp. And this has been huge for us as we like to use the Kanban board approach and we couldn't do that in Basecamp. Second is time tracking and estimating. ClickUp has a fairly robust system built in for time tracking and estimating. And this means that we don't have to use a third party tool like Harvest. We can just use ClickUp and see exactly how long things are taking and easily see how many tasks are going over estimate. Third thing we love about ClickUp is the reporting. You can generate a report in ClickUp for almost anything. If you wanna see how many tasks a certain developer did last month that were under estimate, you can do it. If you wanna see what percentage of a certain project was done by each dev on your team, not only can you do it, you can do it with pie charts. I mean, anything that you can think of, you can make a report with in ClickUp. And the fourth reason I love ClickUp is I love the way that tickets move through the system. Um, everything in ClickUp is a task or a ticket. And we can set up a drop zone where our clients can add feature or bug request and then move those tickets through our backlog and uh, into the different Kanban columns. And we can really see the life of a ticket much more easily than we could in Basecamp. Now, those are the reasons that we use ClickUp, but let me talk about some of the downsides of ClickUp for a minute. Let's talk about where ClickUp falls short. There are three things I really don't like about ClickUp, and the first is the complexity of it. ClickUp is complicated. You can do so much with it. That's a positive, but it's also a negative because ClickUp can just be complicated. I mean, I design and build software for a living. Understanding how software works is kind of my superpower. And I still struggle sometimes to understand ClickUp, and my clients do too. And some of them even straight up refuse to use it. The second thing I don't love about ClickUp is the comments. I hate the way comments work in ClickUp. I don't know why, but there's just something about it that makes me want to send a Slack message and have a Zoom meeting, which is not a good look for a project management system. And the third thing I hate about ClickUp is the way that writing and docs work in ClickUp. ClickUp has writing and docs. I just hate them and I don't want to use them. It's confusing. It's hard to find them. Um, it's hard to start them. The way you add images is confusing. And some people might say, well, it's because of the markdown. It's not because of the markdown. I write more markdown than anyone I know. It's just not a well-implemented feature. And we ended up taking our company docs and just moving them to Google Drive. So in conclusion, Basecamp is great. ClickUp is great in different ways. And for our company, we found that ClickUp helps us more than Basecamp. You might use something totally different. Maybe use Monday or Trello or Asana, and that's fine. But I hope the reasoning on this helps you make an informed decision when you're looking to choose an app. Speaking of informed decisions, if you're thinking about building your first app, I've created a free course over at softwarecrashcourse.com that will help you make wise decisions about the whole process. It's seven short lessons where I break down the most important lessons I've learned from helping launch many software projects, and it's totally free. Go over to softwarecrashcourse.com and click sign up and I'll see you in the next video.